Well, it has happened. We have heard the last of The Last of Us Online. It was rumored about a month or two ago that The Last of Us Online had been canceled. The report came out of nowhere on Twitter, and journalists were quick to verify it, citing layoffs at Naughty Dog, among other reasons why the game was reportedly on ice at the time. Not necessarily canceled, but not in active production, if that makes sense. However, today, courtesy of Naughty Dog themselves, we have outright confirmation that The Last of Us Online has been canceled. They've issued a statement which reads, We realize many of you have been anticipating news around the project that we've been calling The Last of Us Online. There's no easy way to say this. We've made the incredibly difficult decision to stop development on that game. We know this news will be tough for many, especially our dedicated The Last of Us Factions community who have been following our multiplayer ambitions ardently. We're equally crushed at the studio as we were looking forward to putting it in your hands. We wanted to share with you some background on how we came to this decision. The multiplayer team has been in pre-production with this game since we were working on The Last of Us Part 2, crafting an experience we felt was unique and had tremendous potential. As the multiplayer team iterated on their concept for The Last of Us Online during this time, their vision crystallized, the gameplay got more refined and satisfying, and we were enthusiastic about the direction in which we were headed. In ramping up to full production, the massive scope of our ambition became clear. To realize and support The Last of Us Online, we'd have to put all our studio resources behind supporting post-launch content for years to come, severely impacting development on future single-player games. So we had two paths in front of us become a solely live-service game studio, or continue to focus on single-player narrative games that have defined Naughty Dog's heritage. We are immensely proud of everyone at the studio that touched this project. The learnings and investments in technology from this game will carry into how we develop our projects and will be invaluable in the direction we are headed as a studio. We have more than one ambitious, brand new single-player game that we're working on here at Naughty Dog, and we cannot wait to share more about what comes next when we're ready. Until then, we're incredibly thankful to our community for your support throughout the years. So there you have it. That is what happened to The Last of Us Online. It basically is a victim of what we in the project management industry called scope creep, where something gets bigger and bigger until it is untenable to create or support it. And it sounds like Naughty Dog really had something cool that they had built with this, but they realized that they would be unable to drive it forward to, I guess, make back their investment or earn back the money that they spent creating it. And that poses an interesting question. Do we need live service games? Do we need multiplayer experiences to continually be updated? Or can something particularly strong just be put out and, and left as is, as a singular experience? One of my favorite multiplayer games of all time is the original Fantasy Star Online version 1 for the Dreamcast. It never got updates outside of some small seasonal things like events and stuff like that, but it never got actual updates to content within the game throughout its entire lifespan. Now, Sega did release other versions of it, but every PSO game was a standalone, and I absolutely loved them. I still play the original Fantasy Star decades later. So I wonder if there wasn't a way to maybe reduce the scope of this, make it less ambitious, and still put out something that people would love. Uh, I'm not a big fan of factions. It never gripped me the same way that the single player campaign did for The Last of Us or The Last of Us Part Two. But I feel bad for fans that were really looking forward to this because this is a heavy blow if you were a member of the factions community, if you really enjoyed these types of multiplayer experiences from Naughty Dog. So tell me what you think. If you're a fan of this, uh, is this something you were looking forward to? And if you're not, how do you feel about the cancellation of it? Do you think this is going to speed up Naughty Dog's production on these additional single player games that they've mentioned? Or do you think this is just a sad case of just people sh aiming too close for the sun or getting too close to the sun? I personally wish we would have had the opportunity to see this game and who knows, maybe in a couple decades when people depart the studio or it's no longer considered to be you know, an industry trade secret, maybe we will find out more about what this game was meant to be. Uh, it sounds like it could have been pretty great if they had followed through, but I also don't want to see Naughty Dog compromised as a studio. I love their work and I'm excited to see what they do in the future. But that's going to be it for me. Sad news today. Cancellations of games are never fun. But what can you do? This is just the world we live in, I guess, and we wouldn't want to see Naughty Dog fundamentally change, or at least I wouldn't. Let me know again. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.